Hey dude, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I have a review of the best mouse for recording. I've been looking all over for a great mouse for a while. This is the MX Master 3 by Logitech. Uh, this is specifically the Mac version. There's also a PC version. I'm not sure if they cross talk very well. Um, maybe they do and maybe they don't in certain situations. So you might just want to make sure you're getting the right version. But let me tell you, this thing is awesome. It is so comfortable. It is uh, full of features that you would want for music production. And it is really reliable. The battery lasts a long time. I'm gonna get into all the features in a second, uh, but I wanted to let you know that if you are interested in purchasing this mic, I mean this mouse, or checking it out, there's an affiliate link below. It would really help support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it means that I would get a commission. Uh, it didn't influence my decision to promote this mouse. No one's paying me anything unless you purchase it, but um, I've been looking for a mouse for a long time and was really happy with this. So. Um, the way this video review is going to work is first I'm just going to talk about my general impressions about the mouse. Then we'll flip over into the computer. I'll show you what the software looks like so you can use it to program cool hotkey combinations for your DAW. And then I'll actually show it at work a little bit. Um, so first, my journey with the mouse. Originally I just had a basic two button mouse. Uh, then a few years ago I realized like there were so many hotkeys in my DAW that I just like somewhere like far away from my home position or if like I had a hand on an instrument, it was hard to get to. And so I decided that I wanted a mouse with a few extra buttons that I could use to make things a lot smoother with music production. Uh, and I was lucky enough to find that in this uh, Logitech, I think it's a G602. It's a very nice mouse and I would still recommend it. Um, but just like I've had it probably four years now, and it just like doesn't track quite as well. And this, it has a ton of buttons on it, a lot of which I wasn't using because they were, there were just so many. And like, once you have too many options, it becomes overwhelming. Um, this worked fine with my old uh, MacBook, but I got a new iMac and I, it just really wasn't talking very well. This one is also uses a USB, the old one uses a USB stick. Um, this new one is Bluetooth, so you don't need to take up an input port on your computer. Your computer does need to have Bluetooth, but it doesn't need a USB dongle, which is really great because I've got so many things plugged in to my computer that like I'm run out of space really quickly, you know, with keyboards and machine and hardware controllers and things like that. So having Bluetooth was a really nice function. So when I got the new iMac, I went to the, uh, Magic Mouse, which is beautiful, uh, but it doesn't have a lot of functionality to it. More importantly though, it is so unergonomic that, you know, when you're editing your music, you are just making so many little movements so long, dragging wires here, editing notes, and it just became like exhausting to do with this mouse. Like the profile of your hand is just so low when you hold it. So then I wanted to find something that was a combination of the, th like, of the two, right? A lot of great functionality, Bluetooth and ergonomics. So that's how I ended up on the MX Master 3. This thing fits the hand like a dream. Um, I don't think this would work for people that use a mouse left-handed. I am left-handed, I use a mouse right-handed. This is not an ambidextrous mouse though. So, you know, speaking for the lefties out there, I just wanna get your back. Don't use this, buy this mouse unless you use a mouse right-handed because it is ergonomically crafted for the right hand and it works so well. So the, the main thing is obviously you've got a left click, a right click, a scroll button with a third button in. Uh, the ability to switch it from ratchet mode where it's like you can kind of feel the page scrolling, it's kind of tactile to a smoother mode. And then on the side, and this is really what made it for me, there's a horizontal scroll right here, a scroll wheel that goes left and right, which is so much of what we do in a DAW, right? That's why I bought this mouse instead of any other, is because I could scroll in up and down and left and right super easily without having to use like shift or alt or some combination of hotkeys. Um, and I can do it simultaneously. So if you've got those long tracks that you're really zoomed in, it's just gonna make editing 
that much easier. There are also two additional buttons here, a button four and five. And then finally, actually, this whole section here is a button, which you can press down with your thumb uh, to be a, I guess, button six. But if you drag it left, right, up or down in various directions, it actually has additional gesture support. So there is a lot of functionality packed into this very, very comfortable mouse. Um, and basically, it makes editing in your DAW a blast. So uh, I highly recommend this. There's the link down below. If you've got another mouse that you've really enjoyed for music production, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but right now, let's jump into the computer. All right, so here we are. I wanna show you a little bit of how this MX3 works, how it can work in Reason or any other DAW, how you can program your own features for it, and just how cool and useful this is. Um, I could have a camera in my hand, but that seems a little weird, so I'm just gonna kind of describe what I'm doing. Uh, so uh, let's jump in. Obviously you have the regular old scroll button, sure, but also now that there's the horizontal scroll wheel, I can go left to right on my rack, um, I've also programmed various views, right? Every DAW has a few different views. So with the click of one button, we're on the rack. I click another mouse button and we're on the sequencer. I click another and we're on the mixer. Now, I don't have enough mix channels to have the horizontal scroll button do anything here, but if I go to the sequencer, I can scrub from right to left and up and down all with one hand. I also have the editing menu, F8, uh, map to the middle mouse button. So I can quickly pull that up and use those tricks instead of having to reach kind of all the way up to the F5, F6, F7 keys, which I think are just a little far away to really be useful. Finally, on this uh, extra button here, which can change the scroll speed normally, I have that map to play and stop. And it is stopped. So really cool and powerful ways to quickly speed up your workflow. The mouse works really good on any surface uh, and it feels so good in the hand. It does like, uh, I can't even begin to compare it to that awful, awful, uh, whatever this magic mouse. I mean, the magic mouse looks great. It's sleek, but it is not ergonomic. Let me just show you quickly how easy the software is. You pull it up, boom. Logi options. These are the default for just like your OS, but you would click here and you would go down to the bottom and say, add application. Uh, I've already added reason. And then you can just click on any of the buttons or features here, right? You've got the button down here. You've got this one, this one, horizontal scroll, blah, blah, blah. So you could click on one and you could either just have it, you know, do the recommended ones. Or what I like to do is go to keystroke assignment, then you click over here and click on the keystroke that you wanted to assign to F7, no, F6. It's that easy. You can, you know, over time, you'll refine it to figure out your workflow, but you see how much time this can save you and how much more enjoyable it will make the recording process. You also have the ability to um, adjust the scrolling speed and things like that. Uh, you can have it like literally be app specific. So, you know, if you want super fast on Reason or something like that, you can do it that way. Like I said, there's an affiliate link down below. Totally recommend this. It makes music production a lot more enjoyable. Thanks for watching.